Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be continuing on with the range that we are seeing here on Bitcoin which is technically trading very very well indeed and then I'll be giving you my uh, p opinion on uh, where we're going in the short term here on Bitcoin uh, taking into consideration some of the exchange FUD that we have seen a lot of in the recent days so I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one um, and let's start off with a review of the range which in my opinion is the most important thing to be trading right now. Now, okay, so we can clearly see on the top of our range coming in here at 9,738 and the low of the range 9,025. Okay, and from that we can clearly see respect of the 7.5 resistance of the range and the 2.5 obviously coming in here as an SR level as well. On top of that, we have a very nice SR level of the, the 0.5 itself, where we can clearly see it's been support, resistance, and then more recently, a perfect rejection and, a, and another perfect rejection from that. Okay, so that, that's then led us into the shorter term time frames here. Okay, and in my opinion, today has been an, a, a very, very, very slow day in general in crypto. As you know, I, I don't generally do my technical analysis videos at this time, but it's just been such a slow day. I was just like, let, let's just do it technical analysis video <laughs> uh, because what we have here is you know a little downward sloping channel okay downward sloping channel which you found support on got a bounce this was got obviously going into the weekly close a weekly close now 12 o'clock obviously uk time uh, GMT. So we see the you know a, 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 a rise coming into the weekly close, but not quite closing above the monthly, getting a drop down, okay, onto the 618. No surprise here. Bounce off of the 618, where we've got a little bit of a higher low going on. So, so we can clearly, clearly see here that the support is coming in at around 9,135 for this bounce, and the resistance are being our monthly level right now, 9,250. Okay, so on the very short term, you've got a, a, a little smaller range there to trade. But on the grand scheme of things, this, this overall range is really what you've got to be having your eyes on. Where, in my opinion, the, the biggest resistance on this is, is the 7.5, actually, which is which is coming in at the weekly, okay, which is $9,556, to be precise. The 0.5, you don't want to forget, which is 9,382. And it's it's really just trading it level to level in this range, okay? And one thing that you want to be aware of is, is that while Bitcoin is ranging here sideways, um, Firstly, j just trading the range is is, is uh, very good indeed. Okay. Secondly, altcoins do very well when Bitcoin ranges. Let's not forget that. You know, you you got people complain. You know, it blows my mind. People complaining, saying, "Oh, please, Bitcoin break up or break down. Just do a decision." And I honestly am here, just like Bitcoin, stay in this range. Firstly, this range is easy to trade. Secondly, altcoins are actually getting some moves, which is also just a bonus, if in my opinion, anyway. So I'd like Bitcoin to stay range here. I, I wouldn't complain about that if I'm honest with you all. Um, so yeah, the, the Bitcoin range is, is literally as I've just covered there. Okay, and what we can see is potentially think think back how many times have we seen an early indicator being Litecoin, being that early indicator. Litecoin right now is actually moving very very nicely to the upside. So you know this was you know would be a long in my opinion, but we can clearly see we had this downward sloping channel break out of that, hitting the daily, and now you're above the daily. You know, obviously taking up some whole time. So you want to see how this close comes in thirty. You know, thirty one minutes left of this hourly close. But so far that's obviously a nice hourly candle very nice hourly candle getting over daily but there's still 31 minutes left of this but so far so good okay um so this could be an early indication of things to come on bitcoin so that's generally what we've seen in the past there's no 100 percent correlation between them but generally we have seen you know litecoin to rise followed by uh bitcoin to rise so keep your eyes on that keep your eyes on this 250 level you know closing above this you should see this expansion up to you know three eight you know about about 3415 that's just 3400 let's just say okay um so those are the levels that i've got on and, and you know still looking down if, if you do not get that you know nice correlation again uh then you could see this drop down again to around the 130 level um obviously being a bit more of a bearish view uh, but yeah, that, that's, you know, at the bottom of the range still 9,025, which is, is still there. But obviously, the more times you tap this, the weaker it, it does get it. But uh, all I would like to say is the, is the exchange FUD. And in my opinion, of, of why this is... Well, obviously, you had uh, so much stuff that's going on. Obviously, you've had the BitMEX releasing everybody's emails. You had Coinbase going down. You had Debrit uh, being affected by the Coinbase outage and also like liquidating so many people. They obviously got their money back, but just not good for the space in general. Then you had that new exchange, FTX, I want to say. I can't remember the name exactly, but one of these uh, more recent exchanges also getting like a 150 million lawsuit or something, which, if we're honest, is not a great deal of money for a big exchange. But nevertheless, you know, bad news um 
And it, all of this bad news reminds me very much so of April 2019. If you think back to April 2019, that was in the midst of a bull run. And you started getting all the negative news surrounding Bitfinex. That caused a pullback, but ultimately it was a very good long opportunity. And it just reminds me personally very much of April 2019, where we're seeing a lot of exchange FUD. We're seeing a lot of, you know, if we're on is bad news, but price is holding up here. So, so somebody is accumulating here as people are selling, you know, of FUD. You could use this to, you know, essentially fill your position. So that's just one thing I've got on my mind of why it's not doom and gloom. Okay, not really not doom and gloom uh, yet. Okay, <laughs> uh, you know, we're still within this range. Trade the range and then if we start breaking up, then yeah, it's going to be very nice indeed in my opinion. But currently range bound. Uh, keep in mind on Litecoin obviously being our leading indicator, one would expect, okay, if the correlation continues for Bitcoin to also push up uh, in the coming hours, to be honest. Um, so yeah, that, that's one that I've got my eyes on. But ultimately, it has been a very, very, very slow start to the day. We've just seen Litecoin take off. Um, but yeah, a pretty slow start to the day. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll keep my eyes on this uh, during the during the course of it. Give a few updates on Twitter, but primarily, obviously, in the group. Um, so I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I think that's everything that I wanted to cover. Just an update on this, update on the, my view of the exchanges and why it's not all doom and gloom, and uh, the Litecoin leading indicator, which uh, we can clearly see is, is is moving up pretty nicely now. Twenty eight minutes left of that close. Um, so yeah, I think that is everything. Uh, a bit of a shorter video today, um, but I hope that nevertheless you have enjoyed and it has been insightful and helpful for you uh, if you are looking to trade this over the next 24 48 hours to be honest um uh so yeah thank you everybody so much uh if you have enjoyed i would really appreciate a like down below and uh yeah thank you honestly so much and enjoy your day cheers everybody thanks bye